slowly your amount of family farms are going down. And I said, wow, I'm the fifth generation and I still got my dad and my grandpa, I got my brother, I got everybody here. It's an amazing thing to see like, wow, we have accomplished all this together. Well, this is the Arm Farm. Bet the Animal Hospital's done business with the Arm Farm for over 50 years. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I got a lot uh, of stuff. Yeah, so we look at that. Yeah, we're right here. I'm Ed Arndt, Jr. Our family uh, is in pork production. My dad started with the practice in 1959. Probably about three years. My grandfather was a farmer. Then I moved out and we farmed, and now Ed's along, and I see I got some younger ones coming on. This is my son, Austin, and this is my daughter, Katie and they help us uh, from time to time on the farm. I've grown up on my farm uh, here in Illinois. I just always had a passion for the farm. This is a unique farm. Uh, Ed has uh, 500 sows, feral to finish. In here, they're, they look nice and beefy, about 270 pounds. I just wanted to walk through today because we're very concerned about influenza A virus flu back when I was younger, the flu would come in and the pigs would not do anything for like three days and then they'd bounce back. Now flu is more of a, a chronic type of problem. This, these animals, they look comfortable. We don't see a, a increased respiratory rate. Again, that's what we're primarily worried about right now. If you have something uh, get sick in here, well, we can, we can take it out, we can put it in a sick pen and treat it. Yeah, and that really worked. We, we, we did that. Well, the reason we want to take a preventative approach to flu is because we know when that hits with mycoplasma or PERS virus, it just, everything's worse. See, Katie, what we did here, these pigs were kind of struggling health-wise, so we went through and we sorted them out and you give them some more room, and this is kind of our therapy pen. The thing about this is you have them isolated, they're not in with the rest of them, so you can keep them on this pen until they're ready to go. Our farmers are committed to, to raising that, that safe, high quality food supply. With the help of Dr. Garbus in the clinic, us as pork producers, we really want to uh, do the right thing because we, first and foremost, it's at our best interest. Number two, we care about what we're doing. You don't take good care of your animals, you kind of shoot yourself in the foot. I'm out there every day with my animals. I don't just leave them there. It's a lot of work. Katie Arndt will be the fifth generation coming back to the farm, and so she has a passion for ag and for, for uh, teaching, as her great-grandfather did. I want to become an agriculture teacher. I just love telling the story of agriculture. I consider myself an advocate. She wants to be on the farm. Usually when we come out, she's always there to ask questions. She has her own livestock now and, and cares for them. You know, will call us with any kind of uh, issues. Dr. Noel has been my go-to guy for um, a, lot of, a lot of my animal problems with my 4-H projects. Working on, on these family farms, we have a great opportunity to, to pass down, uh, you know, things that we've learned to the next generation. I started working on mainly some health issues with, with Ed. When I came here 15 years ago, he loves uh, what he does. Uh, the family loves what they do. And the fact is, you know, we, we love going out there. We love to see that type of thing, providing a, a wholesome, uh, high quality product uh, for the consumers. You know, they, they don't go out every day um, and, and just do what they, what they do or do the work on the farm. They go out there committed to do something better.